there were lots of writings that the early church had uh, that were destroyed by Constantine. So Constantine in the Nicene Council in 325 got all of the writings, letters that had been written that they were using to preach from, took them all to that council, decided which ones that were acceptable and then burnt the rest. So what was left, then they chose from what was left in Carthage in 385 in the Council of Carthage to choose the what they would be acceptable to them. Uh, as what we know now is the Bible, which is essentially a biblios, a library of books, letters written. They chose which ones and some they and I don't believe God chose. I believe they chose and. In the original, um, there are different numbers of books. So in, in the original, you had all what we now call in the Protestant, the Apocrypha. Oh, 11 other books that were included. And there were books that Jesus quoted from. The book of Yasher, the book of Enoch, the book of Jubilees, I think. There's, there's a number of books that were quoted that were not included you know no why didn't they include them why did they include certain other things well there seemed to be a bartering going on from what i can understand that there was a well i want this one and i want well if you're having that one we're not having this one it wasn't an inspired thing that god told them to put these books in and those books not because the ethiopian bible has 84 books i think and that's one of the oldest recognized bibles as 84 books oh. the protestant took all of those others out well even the king the original king james had the apocrypha in it and then they took it out so which books are the books that were in the carthage one well more than the 66 books that are in the present one that's the protestant version so yeah absolutely there was a lot of stuff and you know i remember asking people well why are these books not in the bible and they were like well they're not inspired when you read them there's no in and it's like that's just that's just nonsense it's just a, an excuse for saying well we don't want these books because and some you know are letters or things that were written that were too too controversial or complicated for them to accept because remember why were they making a bible because they want because people couldn't read generally you know like probably but less than 10 percent of the population could read so what was it someone had to read it so why were the letters read out in the church because most people couldn't read that's why they read them out so they weren't producing a bible so people could read it they were producing a bible so they could actually say this is what we are going to then tell people and they can't hear any more because essentially then what happened was well we got a bible we don't need to hear god anymore god doesn't speak anymore he's spoken through the bible that's what happened primarily and then because most of the bibles uh in the roman aspect of things were done in latin so they were written in another language which most people couldn't read because they didn't really speak latin it was a written language but it wasn't the la common language of the early church greek was but it became the roman language and then well who could read that priests so then it became a priestly thing to tell people and then mediate so it became a mediatorial system to control people because people couldn't read it for themselves so someone had to read it well what are they going to read they're going to read the bits and well then how do people know what it's saying well because they're telling them what it's saying so then you've got doctrine and theology and being set by the pope effectively who is quote god's vicar on earth 
who has the divine authority to say what's right and wrong. Which seemingly, for me, is the Holy Spirit's job to guide us into the truth and lead us into the truth. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.